Good morning everyone, hello and welcome back to another video. Car is joining me as you can see. Today. Yeah, we are driving so uh, we're in the EV, apologies if you hear a lot of ooh, you noises. We're not on a spaceship, no. Uh, right guys, so today's video, um, obviously I'm driving so you've got to look at my face like this, apologies. We're talking about labour again uh, and how their policies and how just their general working attitude has literally caused so many problems in the first what? Is it been two months, Cara, now? Like two that, months yeah. of their policy. Um, and I know a lot of you people will stand up and say to me, oh, give them time, they've had you know, only a few weeks in power and this, that and the other. That That's all well and good. I'd love to give them time. However, the fact of the matter is, the rhetoric that's coming out um, aimed at either disabled people, car drivers, you know, quite frankly, it's disgusting um, and it's boring. You know, a lot of people have their livelihood, especially with driving. Um, you know, so the whole idea about pay per mile tax again is just astounding. You know, um, there's more popping up today in the press and the news in general about it about how much it would cost people. Um, I've heard some rumors and some sort of people say that it's between six or seven p a mile. Um, one guy contacted me and said that he drives for a living, and basically, if he was to use his 10,000 miles a year on the vehicle that he's currently got, instead of paying the 220 pound road tax that he currently pays, he'll be paying 670 pounds. 670 pounds, that is a massive increase, yeah. So, this junction, this junction's awful, it truly is, I'm sorry. Come on, Jack, you got some power, go, go. Oh, and now I'm stuck behind a Land Rover. These big gas guzzlers, eh, I tell you, honestly. Got all the power in the world yet they don't use it do the cara no, they do. very strange anyway yeah 670 pounds a year um that's phenomenal you know that's the extra cost that he's going to have to put onto his business every single year which means that his prices will go up um again some of you have been saying to me he can offload that against business tax things like that problem is if you are self-employed and a courier for let's say every uh you can't do that that's not possible so if you're a personal driver again you can't do it it's not possible it, it's just mind-boggling you know um that people think that this is acceptable and normal um we're exempt obviously we've got an ev like i've said however in the future we're not going to be exempt we're gonna have to pay for it we don't mind paying tax i don't think tax is an issue is it really you know uh but when it's at a sustainable level then yes it, it's acceptable um just just walk out front of the road with your child no problem you know just go for it I tell you, the, the people today, honestly, crazy. Um, other things coming into light again is the whole thing with the DWP situation, you know, uh, what personal independence payment claimants are going to have to go through, you know, it's awful. Um, there's some information that you guys would need to know actually about that. I found out just recently um, that they've changed their, not the assessors, but the company who are doing it has changed. So the DWP has signed some further contracts. Uh, Maximus is being used in the north, which is like Capita, north of England. Uh, and then I think it's Atos is being used in the south. I think also Scotland. Uh, I will try and get some more information about that and I'll pop it down below if I can. Or a separate video, you know, later on, because it just astounds me that they're still using these, I don't want to say people, because they're not people, are they, Cara? No. no, they're not, let's be honest, they're not people. They're disgusting. The way they treat people is awful. Yeah, but yeah, robots. they're still using these robots. And good. Only robots nicer. Yeah, good. Aww. good. Good, good, uh, good analogy there, Carl. Well done. Yeah, yeah. They're using robots again to sort people's assessments out, and as we know, they're not medically trained. You know, um, you you guys can argue as much as you want in the comments because I love laughing at the comments of people who disagree with me. Um, you don't even get a response anymore because it's funny because the truth unfortunately hurts. You know, um, Labour has copped it up already massively. Um, you got Rachel Reeves bashing out orders left, right and centre. Angela Rayner, who says you can't, you know, talk about two-tier policing and you can't mention the word two-tier Kia without being arrested. I just did it. So what? Arrest me. Um, the truth is, you know, you're allowed an opinion. You're allowed freedom of speech. And unfortunately, Labour is trying to even quell that, you know. Um, we've seen that recently, haven't we? You know, a lot of YouTubers that we've been watching have had their channels, like, shadow banned. And they've had people not not seen their videos basically this is a big They're roundabout yeah just but, for the notifications to be coming on through yeah because There's literally so many people like comment in on our videos like didn't get a notification for this didn't know about it 
I was just like, you know, there's only so much we can do. Yeah, there's only so much we can do, unfortunately. So you guys are not getting notifications because YouTube's afraid. YouTube doesn't want to show that content in fear of the British government, you know, um, having reprisals against them. And this is a massive multi-billion dollar company, you know. It, they're afraid. Why should they be afraid of the British government? I'm, I'm not being funny. They've got very little power, um, you know, and all it seems to be is bully people who live and work in this country day in, day out. And it's just... It's shocking. Um, if I, just quick FYI, if you want to, guys, want to know where we're heading to at the moment, uh, we're off to Big Tesco. Big Tesco is a massive shop. You know, we love it. Yeah, um, we'll come back to Cleefox for the day. Yeah, we're in Cleefox yeah. for the day. We're in a bit of a recce. Uh, basically, we are coming back here when we get our motor home in a couple of weeks' time. So we're we are. Sound staff. We moved away. And we yeah, we, but I know, I know. But we'll not look at the site we're going to and look at the the options because we've not really been on this site before, have we? No, not really. No. We did do a video, we walked around it once. Yeah. Um, but obviously we weren't thinking about were homes then, we were thinking more like lodges and caravans and stuff. So, you know. It's going to be a bit of a difference for us, isn't it? It's going to be certainly different. A bit different, so. a caravan that you can drive around. Certainly. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, so, we're going off topic, I'm so sorry. Yeah, sorry. And another thing, okay, I want to mention briefly. Um, so, you've seen the video yesterday by now, probably not. If you're still watching at this point, thank you for watching. Please do stick around. Um, like and subscribe, I appreciate it. Um, the video yesterday in which we stated, you know, people were being weird. Um, this morning at four o'clock, somebody, somebody tried to gain access to our Adobe um, Creative Cloud system. Um, I got an email at 20 past four this morning uh, saying this is your verification code. Someone has tried to log in under your information uh, to gain access to your account. So come on guys. We we know who it Only is. One question. Yeah. Why? Yeah, why? You know. There's um, nothing on there. It's I it's mean, madness. I don't know what you're hoping to gain. Pretty I, sure we know who's doing we it. We know who's doing it. Yeah, we know who's doing it, and it's just pathetic and it's sad. It's just really silly now. You know, like, you've you've gone on down all the different avenues and <sighs> haven't been able to win. So you thought, I know, I'll go to Adobe. Yeah, like. Uh, and the email you used, by the way, really. Yeah, it's just really? pathetic. Like, <laughs> honestly, just. You gave us a chuckle this morning. It's just it's a never-ending story guys unfortunately um, people have been commenting saying we're doing very well with the channel We are successful. Yeah, we we are. are and because of that then we know that we're gonna Pee a few people off now Cara my question is are we gonna get a 24 foot van through here? Well, you can get a bus through here. Oh, yeah easy then. Yeah easy. Yeah, the double decker has just gone past us. I'm, we'll I'm just trying to find the side. touring section of this motorhome site That's all I'm trying to do. Uh, we're on actually Haven at the minute to be fair if anyone needs to know um, it's just different, isn't it? There's Haven, you could you could wild camp down there. Used to be, uh, Park, is now so Cleveland where are we looking at main reception? Okay, so touring and checking into left. Yeah, so it's the same yeah. place. Yeah, yeah, it's the same place. So yeah, not to confuse the two, there is two sites here. And we're com right next door we're completely going off topic. I'm dead sorry. So um, my wheels pulling to the left. I've noticed that quite a lot today. No, no, it's not that windy today, is it? No, it's like it's all over the place. It's the weather today. It's back in a Hyundai tomorrow anyway, it's fine, getting checked over. Um, yeah, sorry, so Labour, yeah, um, I know this goes on quite a bit and I apologise everybody uh, for waffling on. Shut up. Yeah, Labour guys, um, absolute crap heap, you know, I'm, I'm seeing content creators that I'm watching daily, uh, doing videos, talking about it, and it's true, you know, it's, it's awful. Um, if you're trying to defend them, yeah, I've seen it now, thank you, I'll go right the roundabout. If you're trying to defend them, um, why why are you trying to defend why? Labour so much? I don't understand. You know, they've clearly got no interest for you or anybody at heart. All they're caring about at the moment... Sorry. No, the beat. Yeah, all they're caring about at the moment is trying to blame the Tories for 14 years of, you know, rubbish. Which is fair enough, you know, 14 years of crap that the Tories gave us, guys. I understand, you know, and I appreciate and respect that. Uh, it's true, we did have a lot of issues, but at the same time, you know, we should have been able to fix some that's buying out. Why is my wheel? It feels really weird. It's like I'm sliding. What is going on? Yeah, it should, shouldn't be this way. I'm sorry, should you know? We need to get to grips on it, solve the problem, uh, stop punishing disabled people because, you know, the terminology used now is things are going to get worse in October. And unfortunately, things will get worse in October. And I'll tell you where it'll come from. Disabled people, they'll get the hit. They always do. And this isn't scaremongering. This yeah. is cold hard facts. Jump in, I'm jump afraid. in, Cara, jump in. There you go. Jump in. <laughs> this is cold hard facts. I know we'll get comments saying, Oh, you're scaring people, you're scaremongering. That's not what this is at all. This is just this is, you know, 
stuff we've heard, stuff that we've read in the news, things we've watched on other people's videos, you know, things like that. So if you don't like the truth, then I'm sorry, you're in for a shock. Yeah, I think that's the problem. People are burying their heads. It. Yeah, <laughs> people are burying their heads in the sands quite substantially a lot more lately. Uh, and that's not going to do you any favours when it all comes to fruition in October. Uh, because I can promise you now, there'll be cuts, cuts, disaster, doom and gloom, chaos, chaos and it is, you know, uh, and this is just what Labour want. They want the chaos, they want people to be... Um, they want us all running around like headless yeah, chickens. Yeah, my headless chickens, I'm going to pull over the shepherd ties. They want us to run around headless chickens, panicking, um, you know, and it's not right, it's not acceptable, it really isn't, so... Right, thank you for watching, I'm going to go. I appreciate all you guys' uh, love and support that you give, it's amazing. I'm going to have to pull over and check my tyres because I feel like the, the pressures, they're a bit weird, so I'm going to have to check them. Uh, and I'll love you and leave you and I'll see you on the next video like I said if you are new here please do consider liking and subscribing to the channel it's completely free it doesn't cost you a penny uh, if you want to feel free to donate or become a member to the channel you can do click the dollar symbol down below on the bottom right corner of your screen now uh, and drop a comment you know please keep it friendly and lovely I'm Be sure nice. I'm sure this is getting narrower yeah. it's just me or this car is getting fatter I, I don't know I'm going to pull in here uh, yeah thanks for watching guys take it easy have a good one all the best see you in the next one bye, bye for now bye for now